Hey everyone, and welcome to Avimax Tying Tuesdays. Today we're gonna to show you how to tie a bi-visible. So it's a pretty simple pattern to tie, only a couple of materials. We're gonna use the 102Y dry fly hook from TMCO, doing a size 17 today. From there, I'm using the 16 aught Vivas thread in black, and then we got a mix of hackles, which is probably the best part of this fly. Uh, well, the whole part of the fly, but uh, hackles are awesome. So we're gonna use the uh, high and dry, I'm using from Whiting the Dark Bar Ginger, which this is a beautiful color that we have here today. And then also the White Dyed Light Done, which is one of my favorites. Um, these pair together look really well, look really nice and uh, work really well in the right situations. So we're just gonna start our thread as we usually do right on our hook shank and work our way back before coming in and trimming out our tag end. And then we can prepare to tie in that first hackle. Only, two, like I said, only two materials, just a couple of hackles for this fly. Super easy. Tie up a bunch of them. You can do a couple different color options. Today I'm doing the, the more brown and white. Um, you could do a darker brown, maybe some black and white as well, and mix things up a little bit. But we're just gonna prep our hackle fiber and then tie it in right on the hook shank here. And we'll go right back to that bend and then work our way up and find ourselves a stopping point here. I'm gonna create a little bit of a thread base, even things out. But we'll go, we want the brown to be about uh, two thirds and then the white will be about a third right up on the front here. So measure that out and half hitch it off where I want that to be. Just like so. And then we can go ahead and wrap our hackle around. So just touching palmer wraps all the way up to where we ended our thread there. This is a classic fly. It's been around for a long time. Still very deserving of a place in anybody's box. hackle pliers to help me out here and go ahead and take that all the way up. You can see this whiting hackle's got great barbels, flares out really nicely and then that barred ginger color I really just think is beautiful, looks really nice. Applied to a hook here. So one more wrap. And then we'll capture this piece off. Like so. And then we can trim out this excess material here and prepare to tie in the white hackle. And so this one, trying to keep the same barbel size, match them up as best as we can here. Similar to a renegade as well, just kind of emits the uh, peacock curl in the center of the body. We'll tie in this white right where that brown ended. Make sure that's secure. If it's jumped on me a little bit, that's all right. Same thing with the white. Grab our hackle pliers. I love these stone flow hackle pliers, the plunger style hackle pliers for this. Works really well. And we'll just do the same thing with touching palmer wraps. We'll want to overlap just right next to each other. There we go. Like I didn't keep the best thread base under there. If you keep a nice flat thread base, it makes things a little bit easier as you're wrapping forward. We'll make do. And work right on up to that hook eye. And more wrap there. We can capture off this hackle as well. And 
There we go. Oop, lost my material holder. Clip out that excess material. And then trim out some of those bubbles that maybe flared the ways that you don't want them to. Kind of build up a slight thread head on this guy. Not too big, just a little tiny one here with our whip finish. And that's all there is to the Bi Visible. It's a great fly to practice with, wrap and hackle, and it works great as well. If you enjoyed the video today, make sure to give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see us tie in the future, please drop us a comment in the lines below. For more fly fishing and outdoor related videos, be sure to subscribe to the Avid Max YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there.